You know, I urge not only Dr. Sri Zahid Hamidi, because for me, the producing director and the rest are only the operatives. They are the ones who execute in order. And I fully hold the Prime Minister and the Deputy Prime Minister responsible for such shenanigans and denial of rights supposed to be given by the former opposition leader and of course, number one nemesis, Dr. Sri Najib Razak, Dr. Sri Anwar Ibrahim. So I mean, I think it's very crucial here for the media to understand how much more do we have to face? You have taken away the legal, sorry, the political rights of Dr. Sri Anwar Ibrahim. He poses no direct political challenge to the powers that be. At the least, I think this madness has to end. I mean, it saddens me that we have to also drag the lawyers who have done so much work uh, to assist the defense, but even in organizing and having this press conference. So seriously, I'm speaking to, to the, the media today. I, I hope you can highlight this issue. It's not just about Anwar Ibrahim per se. But if you can do this to someone as well known as he is, how about the rest of the prisoners in Malaysia? Not to mention the state of our institutions today. Uh, that's all I want to add. Of course, um, we have also been highlighting this medical issue, but I think today the focus would be on denial of rights. And uh, for me, the actions of the government are, uh, you know, are malicious and full of bad intentions. Just now that Amiga mentioned about how the prison authorities have called the court uh, just to check whether the lawyers who are going in are indeed uh, Anwar Ibrahim's lawyers. And uh, this is the problem. Even the facts that they uh, so-called verified is not true. Uh, for example, uh, we have sent in an application uh, to uh, visit uh, Anwar Ibrahim for today at 3 o'clock. And we have put in the names of uh, Dr. Ambiga and uh, and Director and myself. And we are all representing Anwar in various cases, and uh, particularly the uh, review uh, uh, application uh, of the conviction. Uh, uh, and on top of it, there was a case. There is a case uh, uh, where Anwar has sued Utusan, and it's, a, it's an ongoing uh, hearing of the assessment of damages. It is clear from records and from the media that Mr. Surendran is the lead counsel for that matter. Despite uh, us having put that on record, and also they could very well check uh, in court for that, they have called the court and got the wrong information and insisted that the coming hearing on the 15th of September will be conducted by myself and another uh, colleague of uh, ours, uh, Mr. Shahid Adli, who has not even applied to visit Anwar. So the answer they gave to us is, we're sorry, uh, Anne Surendran and Dr. Amiga cannot come to see Anwar Ibrahim, and only myself and Shahid, who has not even applied to visit Anwar. So now, it's very clear from their answer that they are deciding who comes and visit Anwar Ibrahim. And even the facts are wrong. Uh, even if they want to uh, use the fact that uh, the lawyers are not representing, it's wrong. It's not true. If we can check that, it's in the news uh, who represents Anwar in that particular case, for example. So we can see that this is not out of uh, trying to follow prison regulations or anything like that. We have been visiting Anwar Ibrahim since February 10, and uh, the restrictions uh, uh, are sudden. And from two uh, visits a week, which is also problematic uh, as it is, now they've decided to reduce it to one week, and out of one week now they decide to reduce who are the lawyers to, to, to get see Anwar Ibrahim. This is really a gross violation of Anwar's right to his access to his lawyers. To reduce to one visit per week, right? So how long uh, are the lawyers allowed to see him for now? One, one hour. hour. Only one hour? Yes. Uh, is that, uh, you know, what is the minimum uh, amount of time needed to actually, you know, be ideal for such a meeting, is one hour enough? Not at all. Uh, if you undertake a case in court, I mean, anyone will know, you have to go through facts for hours with your clients. If you want to represent them to the best of your ability and to the uh, standard to which they are entitled to be represented, one hour is a joke, frankly. 
and, and I think they are they are also insulting the the, the system uh, by suggesting that we can properly uh, take instructions uh, in one hour from Datu Sri Brian for cases that are pending in court. We cannot go to court unprepared for our cases, and I think they are interfering with that. Uh, our ability to prepare properly for our cases in court for Dr. Sri Anwar You can mention one more thing. He has 16 ongoing cases, yeah. both in civil and criminal courts. And then we can Shari. perhaps, and also Sharina, then perhaps we can answer how much time do we need. Uh, 16 separate ongoing cases. <laughs>